Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Cliffhanger 2.0. It's deep, it's deep, and oh my, it's very rocky. And today, we've got two very off-road worthy trucks. Here we have the 2016 Toyota Tacoma 4x4, the off-road version. This is as off-road worthy as it gets until the TRD Pro comes along. But over here, we've got the Toyota 4Runner, which is the TRD Pro. And this is one step above this in terms of at least Toyota's off-road worthiness. So coming up right now, we're gonna take both up the cliffhanger and see which one of these two trucks is the better and the most off-road capable. In a typical TFL cliffhanger 2.0 review, it's truck versus the mountain, but today Mother Nature had her say, as you'll soon see. Brian's driving the TRD Pro Forerunner up the much harder side while I'm in the Tacoma. By the way, in case you're wondering, both trucks are aired down. We're going up the easier side of this little Y because, well, I've got a little bit less, uh, I've got a little bit less ground clearance. Both of these vehicles are incredibly off-road capable. And the other nice thing about them is they're both relatively small. We've taken a lot of vehicles up the cliffhanger uh, the biggest of which has been the Raptor, but man, that is a big, big truck. Rear axle, rear differential is locked. Oh, he's struggling. He's really struggling. So what do you get for $5,000 more dollars besides a roof? Well, you also get better tires, better shock absorbers, more ground clearance, and shorter wheelbase. All the stuff that should make this a little bit better when it gets really hard to go up this hill. I interrupt this video from a word from our sponsor, that's right, TFL, and I've got some great news for you guys. We've got a brand new YouTube channel called TFL Now that you can visit by clicking on me or clicking above. And on TFL Now, we're doing live video, we're doing behind the scenes, and we're doing drag races like this one, the Camaro SS versus the Mustang GT. How cool is that? Which one is faster? Well, there's only one way to find out. You're going to have to subscribe to TFL Now and get all of the behind the scenes that's happening right here at TFL HQ. Please subscribe and thanks for watching and thanks for your support. I might have to come and actually go do that. I'm struggling now too. Here we go. Come on. Come on, Taco. You can do it. You can do it, Taco. Sometimes it's also about uh, ability. Who's got a little bit more off-road ability? And I've been doing this a lot longer than Brian has been doing it, so I've got a little bit more experience in matters of off-roading. Maybe I can pick a little bit better line. All right, let me go help him. See if I can get that truck up the rest of the way. These Goodyear Wranglers are a little bit more street oriented. Now, while they are all-terrain tires, they're probably not going to be as well grippy. They don't have the big lugs to bite into the sand and the rocks to get this truck up the hill. Also, this truck has a longer wheelbase, which means the breakover angle is a little bit worse. So when we get to the razor bend, it's more likely to hit the bottom of the truck. All right, I'm going to see if I can help Brian in the Forerunner. I can't. I can't get the seatbelt out. It's such a steep angle that uh, we're at such a steep angle that the seatbelt is not coming out of its. It's not. It's not coming out. That's not a good thing, Toyota. All right, here we go. I need a little bit of momentum. Just a little bit of momentum. A little bit of momentum. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. There we go. Come on, truck. Nope. Not enough momentum. Try again. Pick this. I can pick a little better line. Get a little bit of power going up this hill. Come on, truck. Come on, come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Keep it, keep it coming. Keep it coming. That's it. That's it. Here we go. We're going. We're going. There's no backing off now. No, there's backing off. One more time. So close. So close. This is a much harder part of the hill. There's a lot of colliding at the bottom of this truck, so it should be fine. That's what this is built for. Yes. Come on. Oh. Oh. 
so close. Working so hard. This last part is very difficult indeed. All right, come on. Here we go. 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 Nope. Yes, 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 yes! Dang! A little bit more. It just does not want to go up this cliffhanger. It's just digging itself in and it's making it almost impossible. I'm not going to give up, but I will tell you what I will do. I just saw lightning and thunder out there and I've got an entire film crew up here really exposed and the one thing you do not want to be is exposed on top of a mountain when lightning and thunder comes so let's call this let's call this a day i think that this truck could probably make it but it's really getting too dangerous right now to keep going up this hill so we're going to call this part one we're going to turn around we're going to head down the mountain and uh, we're going to have to revisit this issue but right now this weather is just a little too sketchy for us to continue Too tricky trying to back that thing up. God, here's the lightning too. This is no good. No good, guys. I'm just gonna winch it up, and then we're gonna back down the easier side because it's too dangerous trying to back down this. I'd probably damage the vehicle, so I'd rather go forward where there's a lot of protection. And then backward. It's incredible how everything can go south in such a short amount of time. All right. Okay. I'm being winched up with the help of the Raptor. I'm giving it a little bit of gas so that the truck actually helps the winching. I'm watching for the line when it, when it gets loose. I let off the gas. Now I get to back down this hill. Well, it's pretty tricky. I've got my mirrors turned down so I can see any potential obstacles behind me. And luckily, this is where this truck's departure angle comes in handy. I wonder if hill descent control <laughs> works going backwards. I'm going to find out. Look at that! That is so cool! It works going backwards. All right, Toyota, I'm officially impressed. There's a little rotary dial up here, and the uh, faster you move it, the faster the truck goes. So I can go pretty fast now that I'm kind of at the bottom of the cliffhanger, or if I'm in really a very tricky position, I can turn it down. It really is more crawl control than hill descent control because it works both on the way up and on the way down. So basically, right now I think I'm doing about two miles an hour. Uh, and it allows me to just concentrate on where I'm going and I'm picking my line instead of worrying about uh, the throttle position. We made it. And no uh, trucks were damaged. Uh, and that's a win-win. Especially since nobody was hit by lightning. And that's a bigger win. A much bigger win. Here in Colorado, we know when the clouds are like that, you don't want to be the tallest thing on the mountain. But I did want to show you that both trucks didn't make it up here because what we figured out was that once you're on the cliffhanger, you are committed. You have to go to the top. There's no way to go down. Now, of course, the Forerunner had the much harder trail. So is it fair to say that the two trucks made it up here, our support Raptor and, of course, the Taco? Well, we'll have to come back another day and give the Forerunner a shot up the easier trail. But for right now, it's all about real trucks and not crossovers or SUVs or truck-based SUVs. See you guys later, bye.